Let's get to Bob Pisani and see where we are in the circuit breakers. Bob? And uh, I had a thermometer on my head this morning. It was an odd experience, but it, it was effective. I got in, and uh, it certainly it's a necessary step. Again, we want to review. I know we're all become scholars of circuit breakers in the last uh, week or so. Level one, which is where we are right now, we opened down about 8% on the S&P. We'll reopen 946 or so uh, Eastern time here. That will halt trading for 15 minutes. Uh, at level one and level two uh, will kick in at any point up until 3.25 p.m. Eastern time. After that, there is no trading halt unless you drop 20 percent. Then you halt trading for the rest of the day. I know it's a, a little convoluted, but all of it's gotten used to the, the business about this. We don't know where the market will open here. Obviously, we're down about 8 percent on the S&P, but the banks were weak this morning. They announced they're going to suspend. Most of the major banks are suspending their buybacks. The theory here that they're going to divert the money uh, into loans. Let's hope that is indeed the case. But you see, these are pre-opens uh, on the banks here. Rather severe drops overall. Uh, where's the support levels? Not necessarily mean a lot. I think the one thing here is 2,500. Uh, that was the roughly the lows that we saw last week. Here's a two-week chart of the S&P, but uh, 2,500 would be an important support level. But there you see we're breaking that here. After that, you're looking back here at December 24th, 19. That was 20. 531 there. That was the uh, the close there, 2531 on December 24th. And that was the important level here. We'll see if that uh, kind of number is uh, uh, 2351. I, I beg your pardon, 2351. Let's see if that holds 2351. Let's see if that holds. Uh, um, obviously here we're just a little bit below that uh, above that right now let's take a look at the what the debate is the parameters of the debate is it U or L shape that's been the debate all throughout the week and the weekend the U shape people uh, argue that the service economy will bounce back in a few months uh, the L shaped crowd which obviously has the ascendancy right now is arguing the bounce is going to take longer and that small business will be affected for much longer uh, than just a couple of months and as you can see the market is acting like the L shape uh, may be more likely than the U shape we'll see if that changes around by the way the V shape is gone you notice nobody's arguing about a V shape it's interesting that we're having buy recommendations today on a number of stocks Caterpillar for example upgraded to buy from hold uh, over at uh, Stiefel there are people who are trying to call bottoms at this point. Uh, I think it's a pretty bold uh, move, but you can see it's not really uh, working. That stock's still down. We're waiting for that to reopen. Uh, Clorox, maybe more understandably, was upgraded to an overweight at J.P. Morgan. We're going to reopen in about four minutes. I'll be back on the floor. Uh, some of the stocks uh, may take a little longer because there's going to be some manual opens on some of the bigger names that are out there. So I'll be walking around on the floor checking on the open.